How's it going, guys? We are in the research kitchen with the Hosim G172. Uh, this is a vehicle that I've featured on my channel uh, the, in the last few days. I wanted to show you some issues that I'm having with this already. Um, wanted to bring it to light complete transparency complete uh, truthfulness coming from my channel so you guys can kind of make an educated decision on whether you want to purchase something like this or you want to pass on it now this is necessary this isn't necessarily a deal breaker for me I think it has uh, a lot to do with the design of this vehicle as why I'm having these problems now the issue that we're going to talk about today is the servo and the steering linkage on this particular vehicle I noticed yesterday and I think I made mention in my urban bash uh, and review video towards the end uh, that I was having some issue with the uh, servo not centering itself um, I think that has a lot to do uh, with the design um, of the steering linkage and we'll look at that a little bit closer um, I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about now you can see on this linkage here guys we have the servo up on top here we have this link bar that runs all the way down and it gets mounted on your another little kind of horn that sticks off of a post with the servo saver right here okay so you've got your servo saver uh, you've got uh, this post actually it's one of those split servo savers and it's spring loaded up on top there and then you've got that not only mounted to that post but you've got another arm here that runs down to another post okay and then you've got uh pressed on uh ball links on here that run down to the uh re down to the hub receivers and uh the whole thing kind of pivots on that now to me that's overkill you have all these links on here um all these little links attached to posts posts on here and this thing binds up like nobody's business so i went ahead and i've used some uh just your standard three in one oil uh, on here guys and i went ahead and had lubricated all this up and uh kind of retention some of these screws another thing i wanted to mention about this guys is some of these screws are stripped out so that to me is bad manufacturing that is showing that this thing was these things are mass produced one got through that somebody had stripped a couple screws on so I've got screws that do not tighten down properly in this plastic I don't want to use anything oversized in here I'm leaving it spec um, but I wanted to mention that also so with that being said let's go ahead and uh, get this thing bound up it is already bound right now but I'm gonna show you guys in short order what we're talking about here so um, here's my transmitter I'm gonna kind of hold it in the frame here as well and we can see that now if you look you can see that that does not center itself. It binds up and it holds. So I've been looking at this thing closer and closer and I just cannot figure out where uh, this is binding up. First I thought it might be you know, up in front here where this connects to the, uh, to the uh, hub receivers. I'm actually gonna put a couple drops of oil in there right now on camera and kind of show you guys what we're talking about. Just a drop there, drop on the bottom and some drops of oil um, on that that side's already done on, on your uh, your right right here or the left on the car so that's already done um, you can see that this it just does not center itself now I've been through and, and look at the servo watch the servo on top watch the servo on top see this where the link is to the horn coming off the servo okay that's tightened down I'm gonna give it a little bit of a snug again uh, right here on camera to show you guys uh, what I'm doing so we'll snug this down a little bit and that's that's already tightened all the way down this is just a poor design guys um, I think that uh, they should have thought this through a little bit uh, deeper and uh, you know maybe design it a little bit better without all this business down here that's way too busy for this for this wimpy little uh, little mini servo on here that's maybe three kilograms maybe three kilograms uh, uh, you're dealing with way too much linkage on here and this plastic is so soft that it start it becomes sticky um, so I wanted to show you guys this so you know what you're up against if you do purchase this vehicle. Um, I'm not saying don't purchase it, and this might just be a, a isolated incident, but I'm going to be transparent in my channel. I'm going to show you guys exactly what's going on with this stuff so you don't. You can make an educated decision on do I buy this or don't I buy it. 
that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm going to be doing some more research on this. I'm probably going to uh, dismantle the whole front end on this and go ahead and uh, reassemble uh, it and see what happens at that point. But that's pretty much it. We'll see you all in the next one, and God bless the Republic.